Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing new drugstore products. So for the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup makeup reviews, makeup tips, makeup tutorials. So I have all of these makeup products to test and also these sponges in here. This ones I bought on Primor, this ones on Douglas. And if you want to know if they are good or not, just keep on watching. As you saw, I'm going to be trying new products, new drugstore products, and the ones that I'm going to be trying Heart. This one in here that is from LA Girl. It's the Pro Concealer in the color Peach Corrector. It's to correct the dark under area that I normally have underneath my eyes. We will see if this one is good. I know that there are a lot of makeup artists that use this one, so I want to see if it's a good one or not. This one cost me six euros and 99 cents. The next one that I have, it's this palette in here by Revolution. It's the blush palette in the color Odd Spice. Uh, I have a palette like this one. The other one that I have, it's the one that has more of the pink tones. This one is more for the peach kind of tones. So I'm excited to try and see if this one is good. I hope that it's the same quality of the other one because I really love the other one. This one cost me six euros and 99 cents. And I also bought this lip liner. It's from Catrice, the pumping lip liner. It's in the color 40, staring roll. And cost me two euros and 45 cents. And last, I also have these sponges in here that I want to try, they are from Douglas, as you can see. They are supposed to be disposable foundation sponges. I'm trying these ones to see if they like spread well the foundation and all of that, because I want to have this kind of sponges on my makeup artist kit. Uh, so I can like use on a client and then throw in the garbage so I can have all of the security and hygiene but I'm looking for sponges that I want to throw but they do a good job so I bought this one to try and see if they are good these sponges cost me 4 euros and 95 cents so the first part that I'm going to try is going to be this one in here that it's the first step that I'm going to do because this one normally you put underneath your foundation so let's apply this one I'm going to spread it with my sponge From what I'm seeing, it correct very good, like there are areas that are more dark and everything, I'm liking it. Like in this part I should have put, because in this part I don't have, dark under hair is more like in here, but the next I'm going to be a little bit more careful. But it seems to me like it's a good product, I'm just going to put a little bit more on this spot in here. So now I'm going to put my foundation and I'm going to try the sponges. So I split the sponge in the middle and let's try and see if it works well. The foundation that I'm going to use is going to be this one, The True Skin by Catrice. So about the sponge, I think that it did a good job. I wanted to try the coverage and all of that and if it was easy to spread and I think it is even though like when you are touching it seems a little bit um, smaller because I cut this one but like my idea with this sponges is to have on the makeup artist kit and like do the makeup on my clients with the brushes like the foundation and also the concealer, but then picking a sponge just to give the finish that a sponge normally does. And I feel like this one does a good like finish to the skin. It's not too heavy or anything like that. This foundation is also very good. So, so now let's pass to the concealer that I'm also going to apply with the sponge to see how it works. Ah, 
I like it more to apply the concealer because like it has this part in here that is more like small so you can do this and get very near to the eye and get all of this place covered. So I'm going to do other parts of the makeup and I will be right back to test last two products. So my makeup is almost done. We only need to put the blush and the highlighter that I'm going to use on this palette and also the lipstick. I'm going to use the lip liner that I have in here. Let's start with the blush. I was looking at all of the colors that we have in here and I was thinking of using maybe this one in here. It seems a beautiful color. It's like a rosy peach, very beautiful. So let's apply. Whoa, this palette's normally have a lot of pigmentation. The other one that I have has and this one also has. It's a beautiful color, very beautiful. I'm also going to pick a little bit of this one to put on top because this one has a little bit of glow. Maybe it's too much. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Let me just... I think I put too much blush. These blushes are, are very pigmented. So if you are thinking about like buying it or something like that, be careful. As an highlighter, I'm going to use this one that I have in here. That it's like a pink tone or something like that. It gives like a pink undertone to the skin. I have a glowy like you can see. I think that it's not like one of the most amazing highlighters. When we are talking about highlighters, if you are like wanting to buy a palette, I like this too. This is the Revolution with Soap and this is the NYX. Uh, the Born to Glow, they are both amazing. Now let's pass to the lip liner. As I told you, the color that I have, it's the 40. About the lip liner, amazing. Uh, I think that it's very creamy when you are like applying it on your lips. It slides very well on the lips, like the color is amazing. I really like these kind of colors on lip liners. So I have tried all of the products, now let's talk a little bit about each and every one of them. First about the Pro Concealer. This is not a concealer, this is a color corrector. I think that it was good, I'm not sure if I loved it. I have to try it again, um, put a little bit less product. I felt like I had a little bit of like peach on this part, more than I'm used to, but I want to try it more again to see what I feel about this one. But like for the first time, I feel like it was good. I don't know if it's perfect. I have to try it more as I told you. Now about the sponges. For a sponge that like you use on a client and you throw away, I think it, that it's a good sponge as I told you. My idea with this ones is to give like the finish, like first applying with a brush, the, the foundation and the concealer, and then picking this one to give like the final touches to see if everything is in place with the foundation and the concealer. And as I told you, the thing that I loved the most was to apply the concealer in here because it goes, look at this, goes in here so good. So I think that for the thing that I want, it works amazing. I want to try other ones. This is the first one that I'm trying it. We will see, I will share with you the opinion about that. If you are also a makeup artist and you are wanting to do the same that I'm doing. So about the palette, I think that the Revolution palette, I think it's an amazing one, like the other one that I have, uh, the one that I'm trying today, it's the Hot Spice. I also have the Sugar and Spice. This one is more pink, this one is more peach. I have this one on my makeup artist kit and I'm going to probably have this one as well because like you saw the pigmentation that these blushes have. They are amazing and they last so much on the skin. Now let's pass to the lip liner. I think that of the four things that I tried today, 
this was my favorite I think that the color is beautiful just look at the, the color that I have on my lips it's so beautiful I love it and as I told you very easy to put on the lips like it slides so well it was not hard on the lips or anything like that but now I'm feeling like it's staying matte probability to pass to a mask is less so I'm going to use a mask today so I'm going to see that it costs two euros and fifty so I think that this one is like totally worth it and it's also that kind of lipsticks that you don't have to have a sharpener like you just do this and it goes up and down I prefer this kind of lip liner so we have tried all of the products I told you my opinion about them and now I want to know your opinion about the products if you have tried any of them and if you like them or if you don't and you would like to try them I also want to know what you thought about the video if you liked it or not so go down there in the comments area and tell me everything now if you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my youtube channel don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when i upload a new video if you like this one don't forget to also click on the thumbs up i'm also going to leave down there the other social media that i use so you can go there and follow me as well so we really are in the end of the video i really hope that you like this one that you had a good time in here with me today thank you so much for watching the video until the end and now i hope to see you on my next one bye